Oh gosh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yo, what's going on guys? So welcome back to another video. You guys know that I rehoused my skeleton tarantula into some new enclosure because I'm getting kind of sick and tired of just straight up coconut fiber as the substrate. So what am I going to be doing is I'm going to be slowly transferring all of my tarantulas on this kind of substrate. So what this is is basically coconut fiber. Not too much. I know I just said that I'm getting kind of sick and tired, sick and tired of just coconut fiber. But yeah, coconut fiber, potting soil clay as well as some sand so this as you can see it's quite solid so it's less likely to collapse on the tarantula when they make their burrow coconut fiber always does that which is why i'm sick of it and that's just one reason why i'm sick of it another reason why i'm sick of coconut fiber straight up coconut fiber is that it starts to mold all the time so yeah without any further ado let's start this video like i mentioned this kind of video is going to be like a series so i'm going to be rehousing all my tarantula slowly into this kind of setup it also gives you guys the chance to see what tarantulas that i have so yeah because i don't always show them in every video like for example this tarantula it's been quite a while since i featured her in a video so today you get to see her again for those who are new you get to see her for the first time if you haven't watched the other videos <laughs> but yeah so today we're gonna be rehousing this beautiful girl i think it's a girl into this enclosure so what this enclosure has is the substrate, obviously, some dried leaf litter, plastic aquarium plants, as well as a snake skin, a cobra snake skin. And also these guys come from Philippines, I mean obviously, right, Philippine tangerine, Orphanicus philippinus, Philippine. <laughs> there are cobras in the Philippines, so I thought, yay, why not? These guys are probably gonna come across some cobra shit in their life. I don't know, so I just thought of just putting that in to uh, make it look a little bit nicer, I guess. So yeah. let's open this these guys are super super quick these guys like will bolt i'm gonna have to be very very careful with this one you guys will probably have a good laugh if this one starts to bolt on me because she is pretty big she's about two and a half inches i would say i think they get about three inches yeah that's right three inches i wrote it over here so basically on my lids i write the scientific name of nicus filipinas and then the common name philippine tangerine the date that i got it i mean the year that i got it which is 2017 so that makes this girl two years old this year and then the size they get which is three inches these guys aren't very big tarantulas a lot of you guys i know when you hear tarantulas for the first time you're probably like oh that is some big spider like the goliath birdie so that's the typical stereotypical tarantula when people hear that i keep tarantulas they're like oh do you have a goliath birdie tar? i'm like yeah actually i do but in reality tarantulas there are so many different types and this is one of them this is pretty much as big as they get very very small tarantula i don't think they're considered dwarf because they get three inches dwarf species get about two inches yes there are tarantulas that are even smaller than this but yeah and the last part is where they come from which is the philippines i'm gonna have to get this guy i mean girl i hope it's a girl i have not set this one because every time it molts it always destroys the mold it's so annoying it's like she doesn't want me to know her gender <laughs> so yeah hopefully she'll enjoy this enclosure because it's definitely bigger than this i mean Look at the size difference. It's like, yeah, pretty darn big. And also, this species, as you can see, they like to web quite a bit. So whatever is in here, there's a lot of anchor points for her to web around. Hopefully, she will like this. And yeah, fingers crossed. I was just going to do this, but yeah, <laughs> fingers crossed. So let's get this girl into her new enclosure. I'm going to have to be very, very careful because like I mentioned, this one is not a fun species and also to be safe i got a catch cut just in case she decides to bolt i can run after her and like so i've got my straw over here to prod her in let's see how this goes hopefully <laughs> all right i'm gonna put it this way like this it's a bad idea because she could run out here and then i don't know let's see okay you know what i think i'll bend the straw see bendy straws bendy straws are always better slowly touch your legs don't, oh my gosh did you see that she's just please do not bolt be gentle with me. Oh my goodness. All right. I think I'm going to have to take this thing. Oh my gosh. Please do not bolt on my hand. <laughs> this girl is insane. You guys probably are having fun. Oh gosh. Whoa. Okay. So now, okay, this one, I'm going to get rid of this first because I don't want this to drop in here because I don't know what mold is on this. There's like no mold in the enclosure, but I just don't want anything from here to drop into the new setup. I'm already dropping stuff all around as you can see. But yeah, I think I'll just put it in here. This one. <laughs> all right. So 
Before we get her into here, I just want to show you guys how she looks because like I mentioned, it's quite rare that I feature her in video. So now is the time we see her up close. So here we go. So as you guys can see, this is why they call them the Philippine Tangerine because they're quite orange. I mean, like I said, quite orange. They're not orange like the OBT, Orange Baboon Tarantula. A lot of you guys ask me what OBT stands for, Orange Baboon Tarantula, okay? And then this guy, this is the Orphanicus Filipinas, Philippine Tangerine, or Philippine Orange, depending what you want to yeah, eat. That, that's why I don't like to use common names because there are so many common names for one species. But Orphanicus Filipinas is specifically for this one over here. This one has Philippine Tangerine, Philippine Orange. Okay, stop rambling. Let's get this guy. I mean, girl, hopefully it's a girl. I have no idea, to be honest. Into her new enclosure. Oh my, okay. This is not a good sign already. <laughs> Okay, my skeleton tarantula cooperated with me. Can you please cooperate with me as well? You know what? Like I mentioned, you see, when I put it in this position, she can always run out. So I'm gonna have to close this first. Hopefully she doesn't run out. And then I will reposition it something like, yeah, I think, oh, see, good thing I covered it. If I didn't cover it, oh my gosh, she would be on my hand right now. And these guys are old world, so they are not fun. As you can see, she is already wanting to come out. I'm pretty sure she's happy and excited to get into a new enclosure. But I don't know, that's just what I think. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna have to, please don't do anything dumb. Please. All right, this is gonna be, oh boy. Okay, please do not. Okay, okay, okay. All right, you're gonna like this enclosure, okay? Please do not bolt out. Oh my gosh, look at her. She keeps like jerking herself. Okay, that just sounded very, very wrong for some reason. <laughs> okay, forget what I just said. I mean, like, she's just, she keeps going like, and it's like freaking me out over here. Cause these, oh, see, she did it again. Oh my gosh, please stop. It's like she's gonna bolt anytime. Oh my gosh, okay. Yeah, I hope you enjoy your new enclosure. Now please don't, I think I'm, I'm gonna put this over here. So if she runs, oh my, okay. She's gone into the leaf over there. So that is an awesome sign. So she can't come, okay, never mind. She's coming out right there. I was just gonna say so she can't come out. <laughs> oh no, she's coming out, she's coming out. That's not good. All right, gently get this container out because a slight movement of vibration she feels that it's a big vibration and then she thinks it's a predator she's gonna bolt out of there and that will not be fun at all so yeah so that is the new enclosure for this girl it looks like massive for her like it literally is massive this one was a little bit too small i think the perfect enclosure for this girl will be those medium sized critter keepers yeah that would be the perfect size for these three inches ones because the general guideline for enclosure size for these tarantulas are three to four times the leg span of the tarantula in diameter so this is definitely is probably like 10 times in diameter for this tarantula okay maybe not 10 my estimation is horrible as you can see but maybe five times i don't know okay now let's see how she looks in her new setup but first i'm gonna have to cover this just in case she decides to run i don't know can she get out there yeah she can that is not a good yeah let's just hope that she doesn't bolt okay let's just whoa 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. okay yep that was not a good idea that was a horrible horrible idea what is wrong with me? Oh gosh, yeah. Yeah, okay. That was a horrible idea. That was a horrible, horrible idea. Let's see. Oh gosh, yeah guys. <laughs> that was a terrible idea. I should not have done that. <laughs> All right, guys, please learn from my mistake. Once your tarantula is settled in its enclosure, please do not do what I just did, okay? Oh my gosh, that heart attack this guy gave me. Ooh. Oh my gosh, okay. So there you go, back into your enclosure. Oh my gosh, that was my heart. <laughs> my heart, please. Don't. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I, I, I gotta stop filming now because my heart is going. This could have ended so much worse. Oh, next time, trust your thoughts or trust your instincts because I remember I asked if that gap was big enough and I was like, yep, it's big enough but I still proceeded to try to get her out. Whew, okay, my heart. <laughs> 
Please do not do what I just did. I am stupid. Please do not be stupid like me. Okay, I need to cool down a little bit. So I gotta have to end this video and then I'll go like lie on my bed and cool down or something. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, oh, be sure to thumbs it up. If you didn't, thumbs it down. If you're new to this channel, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll know when this another crazy video like this will up. I hope the future videos will not be crazy like this. Okay, so yeah, you guys take care. Have a good one. Peace. And I'll see you in the next video. So this laptop was resting on that chair that I used to stand up to go and get that tarantula back. And well, <laughs> when I came in and I saw the chair, I was like, laptop out of the way. And I grabbed the chair and this laptop, this is what's left with the laptop. Oh yeah, I threw my laptop on the floor. That's what happens when you're in panic mode. You're gonna buy me a new laptop or something? Okay, okay, I better not mess with you anymore. <laughs>